Hey guys, it's Rebecca Reset. So this is actually a clip that I'm recording to insert into uh, another video that I recorded the other day. I did get a, I guess you could call it a PR package from Girlactic. Um, it's not like a normal PR package. What I had done was they had posted pictures of their their new face powders on to their Instagram, and they asked, you know, which of these four shades were like your shade. And I made a comment about how the fairest shade was like too too dark for me and the darkest shade wasn't dark enough for my dad and we're both considered Caucasian. So they um, sent me a direct message and asked me for my address and you know they did send me a note. They sent me their new product. This is the Luminous Face Powder and the packaging on this is absolutely beautiful. So here is the packaging. It's got all these like little like, I don't know, crystal looking and uh, like like you would find for a chandelier. And this is their fair shade. Now they said that this was like a different kind of powder than other things. And it says on the card, it says that to prep your skin with primer or moisturize your face uh, or put an oil on and then apply it all over. Now. I have tried this without makeup. I have tried this with like blush, bronzer, highlight on, and concealer corrector on. I have tried it over foundation. Um, and it is it is still too dark for me. So what I wanted to do is kind of show you some of the, like the two different methods that I have found that you can apply it that kind of work. I have even tried it with a wet beauty blender um, or beauty sponge. And to be honest, I find that that actually makes it look darker on my skin. I am, um, moisturize. I just put more moisturizer on. I'm having like seriously like watery eye moments. That's why I don't have anything else on my face. I just have lotion on and I threw this lip color on like three hours ago um, when I came in the bathroom to wash my hands and stuff after handling some other things and um, I didn't I couldn't find the lip balm so I just grabbed the L'Oreal Color Riche and this is the new the new color I picked up. I already had the glossy garnet one, but this is the shade enamel red, and I just kind of like put it on and then mix it in. And like I said, it's been on for hours, so it's just like a stain left on my lips. So this is the inside of the powder, and it's it does look darker than my skin, but what I have found is you can take like a little puff like this, like you would with a normal powder, and then just swipe it. But when I do that, you can definitely see the powder on my skin. And I do, I do kind of like put it on like I would a normal compact. And I am like pressing at the same time as I'm applying it. And it gives your face this beautiful like sheen. But because I have dry skin, I find that it does leave uh, like a powdery kind of look to my skin. So let me pick up the camera so you can see this a little closer. Okay, so here we have the side with it on. And then the side that doesn't have anything on it. I mean, this side is a little bit darker, but I mean, that is to be expected. I mean, I did just put powder on my face. So the other way that I have found to work with this product is to use a brush. This is a Farrah F or 50F. This is a brush that I got in my February Ipsy Glam bag. And I, I literally just got that makeup bag like yesterday. So I just kind of get a little on the brush and just kind of like buff and swirl it on the skin.
and I find that it doesn't leave like a powdery hue to my skin but you can still see like a little bit of like luminosity to my skin and I find that using a brush I can kind of go ham with this powder and it doesn't leave like powdery residue on my face like I would with the puff. The other thing I notice is when I'm like buffing it into the skin, if you look like right here on my face, I have this like beautiful sheen, even like on my nose. And it just kind of looks even like right here on my chin. It just makes my skin look, I don't even want to use the term dewy because to me when most people say, oh, well my skin looks dewy, I think their skin looks greasy. Like they need to go wash their face oily. So I don't want to say dewy, but it is very like, glowing and luminous kind of like you've got a highlighter on your face but you don't all right so moving you closer you can see the sheen on my face and the brush side doesn't appear on like in person on me it doesn't appear dark like it would with the puff side from you know putting it on or like trying to blend it in but i have noticed that with the puff side my face on this side isn't as luminous as it is on this side. So this side looks like I actually have highlight on and this side it's just like me. So I find that using this powder from Galactic with an actual brush and just kind of like buffing it all over your skin it makes your face look so beautiful and I'm not I don't wear like a whole lot of foundation I wear corrector and concealer under here I wear, um, you know, bronzer, blush, highlight on the regular parts of my face, and then eye makeup and a lip color. So I'm not really like doing a whole lot to my face. The majority of my face is bare. Now I do have some like breakouts and stuff that are healing from doing um, some clay masks and whatnot. But other than that, I don't put a whole lot of stuff on my face besides my skincare. And with the weather going from 85 degrees for a week to dropping down into the 40s, my skin has been like super dry. So this is actually sitting on my counter, the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream and my Hyaluronic Acid. I have that out and I also have what little I have left of this Farsali uh, Unicorn Essence. Um, I've been using this on my face like right before I put makeup on just because my face has been so dry, even like moisturizers without fragrance in it have been burning my skin water is making my skin burn i've been applying hand lotion like crazy so um it's just i've been all about like hydration 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 but this powder doesn't make my face feel dry like using like a normal pressed powder would which is really nice so i just wanted to record this so i could stick it in with the video i did do some like filming with this powder outside in natural lighting so that you could see just how beautiful this product is in the sun and i really do like it i really want to say thank you to Galactic for sending me this because i would have thought you know just like i said in my initial post the light is too or the fair is too dark for me and the deep is too dark for my dad and even I probably should get a swatch of it on his skin, but um, trying to put makeup on my dad is kind of like trying to cut a cat's toenails. So it's, or give it a dog, it's, it's pill for the month, you know, for, for medicine. It's, it's kind of difficult. So trying to get a swatch on my dad's darker skin tone might not be a good option for me. Um, it just depends on what his mood is. I will try and grab him um, when he's, you know, home from work. So I will try and, and see if I can get a, a quick swatch on his hand. All right, so this is a swatch of the Galactic Fair Powder on my dad's hand. Curl your hand up a little bit. There you go. And then a swatch on my skin. It vanishes. No, you can still see it. It vanishes. If you look at it in real life versus the camera. Mm -hmm. You can see there's like a beige stripe on my hand. Uh -huh. Amazing how much darker you are for me. I'm outside for a living. But there's a swatch on my skin and on my dad's skin of the fair illuminating powder. Or the luminous face powder from Galactic. 
So you see how when I turn my hand sideways, you can see it. Mm -hmm. Now I can like blend it in and it's not as noticeable. But when the sunlight hits that, it just looks like a beige stripe on my skin. Mm -hmm. Because his hand is so much, I mean, his, his, he's a hundred percent darker than I am. Like, um, he's so much darker than me. It's not even funny. So hopefully you find this helpful. I will be, um, probably putting this in the very first part of the video and then I will play the stuff that I recorded outside as well as taking I did take some pictures and whatnot of the actual product in direct sunlight and what it looked like on my skin and it is you know if I was to take this powder with a puff and just kind of put it on my face it is too dark but using a brush and buffing it into the skin a little at a time it's not like this side wouldn't be as noticeable from this side had I not directly put it on. And I was using that Mario Badescu cleanser that caused my face to darken. So that's why like I'm naturally like really light and I don't go out in the sun a whole lot. So most of me is like this color. I mean, if you can see the difference from my hand, my hand is actually lighter than my face. So uh, I do know that there are products that can cause your skin to lighten. Or darken and I do know that the Mario Badescu cleanser had caused my face to darken quite a few shades so um, yeah that was not fun so hopefully you like this if you do give this video a thumbs up feel free to comment down below and let me know um, I will try I did take pictures of these cards but I will try and take a like a screen grab um, from their Instagram and put that picture in here as well so you can see their actual you know press photos and stuff like that versus me trying to take a picture of a card that's got a little bit of a gloss on it which is probably going to bounce back with the flash so anyways I will see you guys in another video hopefully you found this helpful and this is kind of like a and not really a first impressions I've been using this product for a little over a week now um, so it's actually what I've been using the last like three makeup looks that I've recorded. So, so I do like it. Um, so it's not a first impression, but the very first clip that I recorded, uh, was my first impressions of it, you know, when I was outside. So hopefully you like this and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.